Okay, so at this point, I got the one side cut completely through. This whole side's cut all the way around. So I'm going to pause the video, cut the other ends, get everything ready to uh, chisel out. That'll be our next step. That's how we get all these out to make a pretty much a cross pattern for those two boards to uh, intersect with each other. So I'll be back. Well, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to start the build on our workbench, which is, uh, as you can see, part of it's behind me. Um, and I'm going to show you how to join the, the 4x4s together. Uh, basically it's a, a three post joinery. Uh, not real sure on the name because I can't seem to find uh, the name of it. Uh, I'm just going to call it a triple 4x4 four four joint, and I'll give you a, a quick look at it. Let me come over. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. Um, basically what I've done, three and a half inches down, inch and a half wide. And there's four of them. And if you look at our longer piece, it's notched out. So this piece coming out will have that same notch going down, bringing it out this way. I don't have one already made up, but let me check this other piece. Hold on. So something similar, this will come down and fit tight. And when I get to that part, we'll make the other video of putting our frame together. So for now, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, joinery. And next, I will show you how I cut these pieces out. And that's my shop dog, Ozzy, in the background. And basically, we're just going to... We got a Japanese pull saw. One side has a, a real fine cut. And the other side has a more coarse cut so I like to start out with the uh, the fine cut get it started and then get it all the way across the top and then uh, we will uh, use the cross cut here I'm going to take my mic off, and for the rest of this, you'll probably hear some music.
Okay, welcome back, friends. Uh, so now our our cross member pieces that we saw cutted with the uh, Japanese pull saw. Now we got to chisel them out, and I'm just going to show you that.
guess I might go we'll explode a little bit. It's better to have too much, but not enough. So pretty much the only way I can uh, squeeze this thing together is with a ratchet strap, so that's what we've got to use. So we'll let this dry, and then I'll tackle the one behind it. And then we'll work on getting them tied in together. Because what you're looking at right now is actually going to be the bottom. Hey friends, how are we doing today? Uh, this is a great day because I got most of the pieces cut and chiseled out and fitted up real nice. So today we're going to start gluing this together um, I'm almost ready so let's get started Thank you. 
talked real much on this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you how super labor intensive it is with all the hand cuts, the chiseling, the filing, the sanding, getting everything to fit together just right. And now we're to the point where the whole frame is completed. And what we're doing next is putting our dowel pins to keep everything secure for the, for the top portion of our table top. And then we can put our plywood in, cut our hole for our table saw, and uh, keep moving. So at this point, uh, I'm going to drill some holes, put our dowels in, and you can follow along if you like.
Okay, guys, so uh, for our supports for our table saw, I got to put some dowel pins going down into the rest of the frame. And I'm using uh, 5 8 dowel pins and 5 8 drill. I'm going to put two in each. So I made this hammer myself. If you'd like to see how I made it, leave a comment. I'll make a video. Now our uh, supports are done for our table saw. And we're just going to keep trucking here. Um, putting some more dowels in. Like I said before, I'll put some, uh, I'll clean these uh, cuts up with some uh, nice wood putty, uh, sand everything down, and then uh, we're ready for our top finally.
this video on this awesome workbench with our table saw inside of it. Uh, it took a while to make, a lot of hand cutting, uh, time consuming efforts, uh, but it's done. And it's a complete 4x8 sheet, double sheet of plywood, inch and a half thick. And as you can see from the bottom, there's plenty of storage for anything you could possibly need it's just all up to you to make whatever dimensions you're looking for um, I made uh, this particular one uh, 36 inches off the, off the ground uh, just felt that that was a really good height because uh, of the other workbenches I have in my shop so just wanted to thank you again and if you could check out our merch store get you a hat or a t-shirt help us uh, with our next videos thanks again friends